Okay, so welcome to lab seven. Here is one of the first vCenter configuration labs. So I went ahead, I powered on all of my machines, and I'm acting on my VC. I'm logged in as my Vita administrator. But I've noticed StarWinds is not started yet. So I want to go ahead and launch StarWinds. StarWind is going to act as our iSCSI SAN. So we want to make sure that it's it's on. So when you first start either your hosts, go ahead and always make sure this guy is powered on and that it's connecting. If you do not see the iSCSI uh, connection is beneath it, just click connect and it should connect and then show you the appropriate targets, iSCSI 1 and iSCSI 2. So that's really important for this. Next, we're going to go ahead and open up our vCenter. So you could go to the VMware's vSphere web client because we just installed it under VMware. And you may or may not get an error. Uh, if you're doing this in Internet Explorer, you may get a weird error. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I kept getting the you can't log in because you're not an administrator error. In either case, you get Chrome or Internet Explorer, you're going to get a certificate error. That is OK. Click Continue. You'll notice in IE, you're going to get uh, Adobe Flash page, and it's going to prompt you for to allow some apps. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to use IE. I'm going to do everything in Chrome. And again, I'm going to go ahead and proceed through the error messages. All right, so let's go ahead and get logged in. Administrator at vSphere.local and our single sign on password. And that should take us right into the web client. The web client's not always the quickest, so you've got to be patient. And here we go. All right, so once we're here, I'm going to go ahead and maximize my screen because we're only really working in this environment. So we're going to go to Host and Clusters. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new data center. Uh, you can right click on it, new data center that way, or you can click on new data center. We're going to be calling this one training. It may take a second, but it will generate underneath it. And then we can start adding hosts. So we're actually going to be adding our hosts, our ESXi 1 and ESXi 2 host. So ESXi 1.vito.local. Username is root, and the password is whatever password you assigned on it. You may get a error key like this. That's OK. All right, so just to make sure that this is the correct one, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my ESXi host one. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the support information. And you'll notice the appropriate SSL thumbprint, SHA-1. OK, now that we've verified they're the same, let's go back to our VC. And yes, we're going to go ahead and proceed. It should validate. And it should go through a host summary. We're not adding any license keys yet. We're uh, not going to enable our lockdown mode just yet. We are going to be placing our VM location under our training. 
Now we're going to review it and finish. And it should take a minute to add. And once it adds, we should be able to see it under training. All right. It should show our ESXi one. We're going to add another host. ESXi two dot vidder dot local. You can verify the SHA one hash. Go through all of these guys again. And that we have both of our hosts added. So now we have both hosts added. Let's go ahead and navigate to SXI1. We're going to click on Manage. Once we click on Manage, we have a few sub options. We're going to click on Networking and navigate to TCP IP. This is where we're going to see things like our DNS and our routing. We can go through DNS and routing just to show that they are the same as what we set when we set up our hosts. Let's go back to settings. Now we actually want to look at the time. So we're going to go under system. We're going to go to time configuration. And you'll notice our NTP client and our NTP service status are both stopped. Let's go ahead and click on edit. And we actually want to use network time protocol. We're going to go ahead and select use network client. We're going to navigate to NTP service startup. And we want to have it start and stop with hosts. And we're also going to go ahead and put an NTP server there. We're going to do pool.ntp.org. Let's go ahead and start it. And we're going to click OK. We're going to do the same thing for ESXi2. The web client is not always the smoothest. We're going to edit it. We're going to do manual, paste the host in. And we should be good to go. Both are now running. Both are now enabled. And that's actually it for the first section of our vCenter configuration. Thank you.